So IRCC is finally here with the latest updates on spousal open work permit as well as PAL. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about both of these updates. Hi everyone, my name is Shivani and I'm a licensed immigration consultant based in Waterloo, Ontario. And I'm also the founder of Zest Immigration Services Incorporation. So without any further ado, let's get the video started. IRCC has released more details regarding changes to the eligibility for the spousal open work permit. As of March 19, 2024, partners and spouses of international students are eligible for a spousal open work permit only if their sponsor is enrolled in a master's or doctoral degree program at a university or polytechnic institution in Canada. However, there are certain exceptions for the spouses or partners of undergraduate students. Spouses of undergraduate students in one of the following professional degree programs at a university are also eligible to apply for a spousal open work permit. The first one is a doctor of dental surgery. Second is bachelor of law or juris doctor. Third is doctor of medicine. Fourth is doctor of optometry. Fifth is pharmacy. Sixth is doctor of veterinary medicine. Seventh is bachelor of science in nursing. 8th is Bachelor of Education and 9th is Bachelor of Engineering. Spouses and partners applying for a spousal open work permit must provide documents that prove a relationship to the student and one document showing proof of their partner's enrollment in a degree granting program of study. Here's what IRCC accepts. A valid letter of acceptance from a designated learning institution, a proof of enrollment letter from their spouse or partner's DLI, transcripts from their spouse or partner's current program. But what happens if you have already submitted a spousal open work permit application? Well, IRCC says that those who applied for a spousal open work permit before March 19, 2024 are still eligible if their partner has a valid study permit, is eligible for a post-graduation work permit, is a full-time student at one of the following types of schools a public post-secondary school such as a college or a university or CEGEP in Quebec, a private college-level school in Quebec, a Canadian private school that can legally award degrees under the provincial law, for example, a bachelor's, master's, or a doctoral degree. Okay. Moreover, these requirements are the same for the current SOWB holders who apply to extend their existing work permit. But what if you're not even eligible? Well, spouses and partners of international students who find themselves no longer eligible for a spousal open work permit can apply for any of the other type of work permits that's available under the Canadian immigration system, given that they meet the criteria of that particular type of work permit. Also, they can choose to apply for a visitor visa, which is also known as TRV. However, those who arrive in Canada as a visitor are not permitted to work in Canada. Now let's look at the latest updates regarding the PAL, which is Provincial Attestation Letter for the Study Permit. Currently, the Provincial Attestation Letter is available in the province of Alberta, in the province of British Columbia, in the province of Manitoba, in the province of Quebec, and in the province of Saskatchewan. For province of Alberta, as of March 1st, 2024, the PAL process for Alberta is now in place. If you are planning to study in the province of Alberta, please contact your school to find out how to apply for a PAL. Once you have a PAL, you can apply for the study permit in the province of Alberta. For the province of British Columbia, so if you are planning to study in the province of British Columbia, as of March 4, 2024, the PAL process for the province of British Columbia is now in place. Please contact your school to find out how to apply for a PAL. Once you have a PAL, you can then apply for a study permit to study in the province of British Columbia. For the province of Manitoba, as of March 4, 2024, the PAL process for Manitoba is also now in place. And the same, please contact your school to find out how to apply for PAL. And once you have it ready, you can then apply for the study permit to study in the province of Manitoba. For province of Quebec, you are required to get Quebec Acceptance Certificate. If you want to study in Quebec, you need an attestation of issuance of your Quebec Acceptance Certificate, also known as CAQ, which is issued by the Government of Quebec. Please contact your school to find out how to apply for CAQ. 
Also, please note that for your CAQ to act as your provincial attestation letter, it needs to include the following line. This attestation letter confirms that the applicant has a place in Quebec's share of the distribution of study permit applications or is exempt from it. CAQs for applications received before 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time on January 22, 2024 do not require this above-mentioned line. For the province of Saskatchewan, as of March 13, 2024, the PAL process for the province of Saskatchewan is now in place. Again, please contact your school to find out how you can apply for the PAL, and once you have it ready, you may then apply for the study permit to study in the province of Saskatchewan. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon right there so that you get notified every single time I post a new video. If you wish to discuss about your immigration case or if you wish to discuss your Canadian immigration options, then feel free to contact us at www.zsk.ca or simply go to the description box of this video. You'll find a link to either book a case assessment or book a consultation with me. Regardless of wherever you're located on this planet, you can book a consultation from your comfort of your home, from your home country. Uh, so feel free to do so. If you're located uh, within Ontario, then you can choose to book an in-person or in-office appointment as well. The link is given in the description box. I wish you guys all the very best for your future. Take care. See you next time.